Hello, my name is Hennessy. Um, I'm from the ninth grade tran transition academy, and we spend the last five weeks learning about the teen leaders um, and how to prepare for high school. My name is Misael. I'm Jacob. Hi, my name is Tiffany. My name is Tasia. My name is Julissa. One question I have for the team leaders is, what were you guys worried about going into high school? Like, what were you guys' concerns? Um, one thing I was extremely worried about was having like having to make new friends, definitely, and um, getting to know my new teachers and worried that they won't like me. I was extremely worried about that. You said it's a new place, it's a new environment, so that's all very nerve wracking. I was worried about not passing my classes. I mean, I didn't have a problem with it, but I was just, I've always been worried about not passing classes. Do you have anything? Next question. Um, can you guys tell us like a little bit about like how high school classes are different from middle school classes? Um, one thing that's really different from high, um, in high school than middle school is uh, teachers are extremely more lenient. Um, everything is more like, uh, they treat you more like an adult and there's really a lot of respect there. Personally, for me, I felt more comfortable in high school than in middle school. And it's just that you respect them, they give you respect back, and classes go well with that. Respect goes a long way. You just keep that in mind. That's a perfect answer. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Nice <laughs> question. <laughs> um, what's one thing you can tell us about your first week of being a freshman? You want to answer that? You can go. All right, my first week of being a freshman. Um, First week of being a freshman, I don't know. Um, well, yeah, like I was, like I said earlier, I was really nervous. Um, definitely got lost a lot. I got lost so many times. Just uh, so, just don't be afraid to ask students for like help, like older students. Like, do you know where this class is, or like, or ask the teacher for help because you're gonna get lost. And um, I, don't know, I was like mostly afraid or worried that I don't know, teachers might like might not like me right away. So that's always something that's been on the back of my mind. You guys have any concerns from freshman year? No. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Um, is there any like recommendations that you would give to kids <laughs> not to do in high school? Hmm. I think Joe Halise would like to take this one, no? Yes? Um, probably don't skip class at all. Right. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it, right? So, uh, yeah, I um, I am gonna admit, freshman year it was kind of tough. I did skip a lot of classes, which I'm, which I have improved a lot from then. I'm doing great now, but that that really does catch up to you, and that does ruin your chances in passing. And if you even do, like, if you pass to the next grade, they're still gonna make you take summer school. Like, there's you're still gonna like waste your summer, um, senior year. They might not let you graduate if you didn't get all your credits. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. My name is Janisha and I'm going to ninth grade. My name is Serenity, and I'm going to ninth grade. My name is Gemma Lee, and I'm going to ninth grade. What do you think is the hardest part of high school? So for me, it was like managing my stress and emotions. Like I would get really stressed out, and it would make me mad. So like I would go into a class being mad, and I'd stay mad the whole day. And then I would like kind of take out my anger on other people, and, and I didn't really mean to. So just manage stress yeah because it's not good to be stressed out yeah. high school does that to you yeah. um something i um, for my answer would be uh worrying about the future a lot so like as you know we are seniors and we do have to start worrying about college and what we want to do in the future future jobs and what we're going to study and that's that's a lot of stress that's uh it's stressful it's uh, worrisome not only do I have to worry about finally passing senior year, it's like applying for different colleges, passing their tests, and just everything else. Getting accepted. Getting accepted, that's a big part. That's uh, very stressful, but I, I'm, I'm sure it'll go well. How do you usually keep track of high school work? Well, for me, I have like a little planner, and I write down like anything, like assignments or tests or projects that and when they're due. Do I usually just keep all my work in a in a folder I know I'm gonna use every day so I'm reminded about what work I'm gonna be using. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be using it every day so I'm gonna see it. Yeah. But yeah. Alright, next question. Will we all of our classes be on the same floor? Hmm. So mm, it's different for Dean and Holyoke. So I know in Holyoke it might be a little bit different based off of grades. 
but in our school at Dean, <clears throat> we have shops in all, like, we have shops in the basement level, we have shops in the second floor, third floor, so, like, definitely a lot of moving around, but most of our classes would be on the third floor, because that's where most of the academics are, and there's no shops on the third floor. So, we say about third, third floor. That's it. If you have, like, a shop on a certain floor, or you, um, end up getting late, I end up get yeah end up getting late to class because of what you're doing in your shop. Just talk to your teachers because they're understanding. Like um, I talk to my teachers because in health assisting we go to the nursing home, and sometimes we would come late, so I would talk to my teacher about it, and she would understand that. So we I wouldn't get in trouble for being late to our class. Just make sure you talk to them. Most of the teachers are understanding about it. So yeah yeah make sure to always approach them if you have any issues, whether it be you being late, um, issues with work, is issues if you need to stay after school, and like do extra work always talk to them don't be afraid to do that it's completely different if you've had bad experiences with that high school is completely different I guarantee a good time <laughs> for students who are shy what do you suggest like how to make friends you can start now Just all right um so for students who are shy mm, i say well this program is definitely a good start because you guys are going to be coming into two high school together like you're going to know each other already so that's, you're already doing something right, there you go. So that's something. Kind of just making sure you make that one friend or like that one person you kind of know in the beginning of the year. Or like always starting off with a compliment. Just be like, hey, I like your shoes. Or find something in common with that one person. And I don't know, eventually you guys become friends. It just naturally happens. I'm not very good with this. Uh, uh, yeah. Try and sit next to someone maybe you don't know and you'll probably become friends with them that's what happened to me and yeah, the girl's my best friend now like I sat next to her in class like so <laughs> I, I was really shy at the beginning of the year so just try and put yourself out there but don't push it too far like it's good to get out of your comfort zone a little bit have you met the new principal and what is he like yeah the new principal Dr. Mahoney he's really nice like he like tries to um, get to know you like every time I see him he always says hi or good morning or good afternoon ask me how I'm doing um, yeah he's really nice and anything I love Mahoney all right <laughs> I think <laughs> he's so cool like the first day I met him he was like very very approachable and like um I guess he had found I guess one of the teachers had told him I was into photography and he started making up these new project ideas for new, the, the new school year. And he's like already planning stuff for me. And it's like really cool. And like, like oh my God, you're so cool. Like, you're already outgoing. Like you're already planning stuff for the students. And like, that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. He's already have like plans and ideas for the future. Yeah. What would you do if your friends don't care about school? Ooh. All right. You want to take this one first or do you want me to? Um, I got to think about it. All right, I'll go. <laughs> so what to do when your friends don't care about school definitely um <clears throat> let them know you're serious about school let them know like hey i'm here to pass i'm trying to do my work and if they're really your friend they'll respect that and just you know don't don't let that get in the way don't let them skipping class or let them like you know messing around don't let that get in the way do your work tell them this is what you're here for and eventually you guys can hang out after school you know if they're really your friend they'll respect that as i said earlier and they won't interrupt you from your work and sometimes you can even help them get serious about class. Always, uh, if the teachers can't reach them, you as a friend probably can. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind. For me, I've personally had friends who don't care about school. So, like, if they're trying to goof off with you during class, try and ignore them. Like, not be rude about it, but try and ignore them. and Get your work done and tell them afterwards when you're done. Just chill with them, do whatever. There's other times to talk to them, not during class. My name is Hennessy Panetto and I'm entering ninth grade. My name is Eric Benito, I'm going to ninth grade. Some good ways to handle bullying, I would say, well, it depends on how serious it is. Obviously, if it's very concerning, like someone's getting hurt, someone's like, extremely like, um, you know, like if someone's getting hurt or they're gonna hurt themselves, I'll obviously tell them though. But if it's like, you know, like constant, like someone picking on, on a girl in the hallway or a boy in the hallway, like, I guess, if you're seeing this go down, definitely approach the victim and tell them like, hey, like, don't worry about it. Like, I'll be here for you. Like, be, be their friends. They probably need someone there for them. And if it's happening to you, well, it depends how you're going to take it as a person, whether you're going to ignore it or you're not going to let it bother you. Like, I, for me, example, I, I never let that stuff bother me. I, 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 like, I have a, I call it, don't care attitude. And usually the, if it 
a bully would have started, I they just realize, wow, this girl does not care. Why am I gonna waste my time here? And I'm like, exactly. Wow. <laughs> so just <laughs> just have that you don't care attitude and just try not to make the situation worse by like really like saying, oh, what, what are you gonna do about it? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, yes. don't don't make it worse. Don't fight the bully. Like, they're obviously upset about something. Yeah. You, would you guys like to say anything on that? You should be a motivational speaker. Oh, thank you. All right, next question. Oh, can you give us some examples how to do that well? How to do well in high school? Definitely, if you're having trouble on your work, whether it be uh, small or big, just go up to your teachers and ask for help. You can let them know early in the morning. You can say, hey, I need extra help and I can't stay after school. Maybe they'll be there early in the morning for you. They're very understanding. Um, something else that will help you do well is um, Keeping distractions away, like your phone. Don't even, like, keep it in your bag. Don't even pull it out of your bag unless it's a real emergency. Then you can tell your teacher and just be like, hey, I'm going to go out to the hallway. Just keep that in your bag. Um, don't mess around with your friends too much during class time. That's a big issue. Like, you know, like, if you know you're going to be talking a lot with your friend or something, just like, hey, listen, this is important. Like, we're going to try to do work. I don't know. Yeah, that's about about simple stuff here and there what yeah, about you basically what, like what she's saying mm -hmm. basically just pay attention to your classes because if you don't then you're gonna fall behind and it's not gonna be something good that'll come out of it mm -hmm. yeah. um being able to like space out on how you do everything so sometimes if you get homework and if you're doing sports at the same time you gotta learn how to time to keep the time like in check so time you know, management. Yeah, your time management, you gotta learn how to work that out. And it's always good to learn it before you get into like your junior and senior year. Because your junior and senior years are like really hard. So like having the time to like space everything out. And if you have something to do on this day, make sure you do it this day. Have everything set, like, like have everything set on certain days. And then like you'll be set if you know how to like space it all well. What are the main, Wait, what? <laughs> what are the main things that cause drama in high school? Ooh. <laughs> a lot of pettiness. Just like, I guess, like starting off with petty stuff, just a lot of that, and like people escalating. Uh, how do I say that? Escalating? escalating? I don't know. Yeah. Escalating it. Yeah, making it worse. Like, whether it be something like, oh, did you see who she was hanging out with? Or like, oh, this kid, he was hanging out with my girl the other day. Mm -hmm. Like, and then people take it further than it should have been. So, like, Definitely at that level, it Making starts off. Making the situation worse. Yes. Would you like to say something on that or like anything? No. I think there's other stuff probably. Like over like trying to get attention. Mm. So if you try to get attention on saying like issues have happened with your families or with yourself and they really haven't happened, just like when people find out about it, they will call you out mm. on it, and then you're just gonna be left in drama because. No, like half the school knows everything you said. So yeah, just and like it's not true. Yeah, just be careful what you put out there, what you say out there, because you probably don't know half of these kids, and they might be there waiting, waiting to hear something terrible and use it against you. So just be really careful who you trust. Why well, teen kids on spread rumors? I feel like rumors always start online first. Kind of like, did you hear who this kid was hanging out with, or like? Did you know like this happened to this person and like they take that to school with them and it just exhales from there like people don't know the real story so like they start making more rumors to it and just I don't know like I don't know yeah, <laughs> just like rumors cool. about it. That's a good example. Yeah, that's how they start. I don't know specific rumors, but just that's how usually they start. Anything can start online too. Yeah, yeah. Like on social media, if you just say one thing, it can get blown so yeah. wrong. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. That Screenshots. What she said. <laughs> All right, go. Next question. Is there a certain teacher or counselor that you go up to when you have a problem in school? Um. Yeah. I. Uh, if you're going to dean, I don't know about Holy Kai, but if you are going to dean, I recommend Miss Myra. She's very like. She's very open. She's very accepting. She's really uh. She's really nice. She's a nice lady. She's our counselor at school, and I go to her when I have issues, and also. It doesn't always have to be a counselor, it can be a teacher. Like for example, I go up to my history teacher and I always, um, if I'm having a bad day, I like talk to him like, hey, this is what's happening, like, I need help with this. And they're very understanding. So just keep in mind, you don't always, you don't always have to make close relationship with counselors. It can be like normal teachers, like shop teachers as well. 
Would you like to say something on that? Uh, yeah, for me, I go to my shop teacher, Miss Westcott. I think having a close relationship with your shop teacher will make a difference because my shop teacher, Westcott, um, she's been there for a lot for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just having close relationship with teachers in general because you do see them every day, like all week, every day. So it's just that in mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would recommend like Miss Berger. She's like she's literally. I don't know how to explain. I can't. She's, whenever she's I so happy her, that like your energy always just goes from really low to really high. Like you can walk in a classroom and like like just be like I don't want to do this. She'll be you could be rude to her and everything, and she'll just literally go to you. What's wrong? You want to go to the hallway? You know, <laughs> she's you so nice. Just just know there's a lot she's, of nice teachers. Yeah. <laughs> she's just like really. <laughs> And then if you say anything and you like don't want it to be said or anything, she won't. And if you're just having like a bad day where like, you can't physically and like mentally can't get yourself into prepared for class, she literally understands everything and she'll just be like, okay, like if you need to say time to yourself, you can. Si tú pudieras hacer este el año este de nuevo otra vez, que es una cosa que tú harías. Um, yo quería tener una actitud más positivo en ese año porque en verdad yo yo entré ese año Mm, bien como como con calamado you know, no quería hacer nada no quería no quería hablar con nadie y eso me eso me, me, me dañó mucho y te, siempre tengo algo te, te, tengo una actitud más mejor porque eso me la eso no sé cómo decirlo eso va eso cuere ir lejos como es, eso me la te cuere aguantar y hacer el año más mejor no quitar las clases porque en verdad yo sé que es un año nuevo y todo es nuevo para ti, bien fácil para equipar las clases, pero no lo hagas porque en el futuro eso te va a coger y tú no puedes pasar el año y va a tener que ir para la escuela más en el verano, no un tiempo bueno, eso no lo hagas. ¿Qué otro advice will give to, to all the freshmen? Advice, ooh, okay. I would say, Like, be yourself, stay true to yourself, and don't let anybody try and change you for, like, for anything. All right. I want to, can I say this when I start? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't be someone you're not. Like, I get it. It's a new place, and you probably want to do your best to fit in and, like, be liked. But don't be someone you're not because the friends are going to be, they're going to be friends with you because of this person you're acting like, and you're not going to like your friends because it's not who you are. So just... Be yourself and what you only say stays, stays true to yourself. Yeah. That was good. Good answer. Thank you. Don't change. Got it. I can't stress this enough. Don't skip your classes. Yes. Just don't do it. It's not going to end well. I know. That's all I got to say. Yeah. One more thing we had to throw it out there. All right. <laughs> And uh, thank you, team leaders. Oh, well, thank it was our pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, we clap. Can we clap? Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching and have a great year. <laughs> <laughs> All right,